A year ago, scientists detected a mysterious radio signal continuously directed toward Earth, a strange and unique signal that lasts about five minutes and repeats itself precisely every 22 minutes. After its discovery, researchers checked historical records to see if such a signal had ever been detected before. And to their amazement, they found that this signal has been coming toward Earth for the past 35 years, but no one had noticed it till then. The source of this signal is estimated to be around 15,000 light years away, meaning that it originates from somewhere within our own galaxy. We captured it through radio telescopes, but when we attempted to observe the region using other types of telescopes, we could find absolutely nothing. There is nothing in that region that emits any kind of visible or infrared light. This suggests that either the object is incredibly faint and only emits radio waves, or it is possibly too small to be seen with our current technology. But the strength of the radio waves reaching us is undeniable, as though it is deliberately aimed at us. One intriguing feature of this signal is that, despite being regular, it is not perfectly identical each time. Small variations are there all the time. And on rare occasions, the signal even did not arrive, only to resume precisely after another 22 minutes. The challenge is that, based on our present understanding, no known natural phenomenon can emit such a unique signal. Today, we know about many cosmic sources that emit repetitive radio signals but none of them can produce this exact pattern. Hearing this, some of you might be reminded of the Arecibo message sent out in 1974. It was a radio message that we transmitted into space, containing some information about Earth and humanity, with the hope that if any alien civilization were to receive it, they might be able to decode it. Naturally, it raises a question, could this mysterious signal, coming from 15,000 light years away, be an attempt by some other civilization to communicate with us? In today's video, let us dive into this mysterious radio signal that has left scientists puzzled and searching for answers. Hi friends, welcome to a new episode of Science Simplified for All. The radio source we mentioned earlier is officially named GPMJ 1839-10, but for simplicity, many refer to it as the 22-minute signal. Our primary method of studying distant objects in space is by analyzing the light they emit. We use a variety of telescopes that can detect light across the full spectrum, from radio waves to gamma rays. Radio telescopes, which capture radio wavelengths, differ significantly from the optical telescopes we are more familiar with. One of the largest radio telescope arrays is the Murchison Widefield Array in Australia consisting of unique antenna structures called tiles. Each tile is made of a 4x4 meter steel mesh with 16 dipole elements on top. The Murchison Widefield Array includes 128 of these tiles, spread across an area roughly 3 kilometers wide, giving it extremely high sensitivity. This 22-minute signal was first detected by Natasha Walker in 2020 using this array. The signal is distinct because it repeats at an interval of exactly 22 minutes, with each occurrence lasting anywhere from half a minute to five minutes. This unique pattern is the hallmark of the signal. Here is a sample of the data recorded at different dates and times. As you can see, the signal varies slightly each time, yet the 22-minute interval remains almost exact. Occasionally, the signal does not appear, only to return after precisely 22 minutes. Since this signal was unlike typical radio signals from known cosmic sources, scientists began investigating whether it had ever been detected before. Upon examining historical data from radio telescopes worldwide, they discovered that this signal had indeed been recorded as far back as 1988 on various telescopes. However, no one had identified it until now. With this confirmation, efforts began to locate the source of the signal using optical telescopes. Even with the powerful Hubble Space Telescope, equipped with visible and infrared cameras, no object was found at the exact location of the radio source. Hubble, 
capable of seeing galaxies millions of light years away, should have easily detected an object within our galaxy, 15,000 light years away. This leaves us with two possibilities. Either the object emits no visible light at all, or it is extremely small. Gamma ray telescopes also fail to detect anything from this source. Only when an X ray telescope was used did a faint signal emerge, suggesting that the object emits a very low intensity X ray along with radio waves. Currently, there are no known natural sources that match this combination of behaviors. Pulsars are a natural source that emits intermittent radio signals. They are neutron stars with strong magnetic fields that rotate at incredibly high speeds. A neutron star forms when the core of a star slightly larger than our Sun exhausts its fuel and collapses under gravity. While a neutron star may have more mass than the Sun, its diameter is only about 20 kilometers, resulting in an extremely high density. The matter in just one spoonful of a neutron star would weigh more than a mountain. When the core of a star, once millions of kilometers wide, compresses down to only 20 kilometers, its rotation speed increases dramatically due to the conservation of angular momentum. An average neutron star rotates on its axis between 100 and 700 times per second, generating a powerful magnetic field. This magnetic field, combined with charged particles in the star, produces intense radio waves which are emitted from the star's magnetic poles as focused beams. In the case of Earth, the direction of the rotational axis is closely aligned with the direction of our magnetic poles. However, for pulsars, the rotational axis and the magnetic poles are misaligned. As a neutron star spins, the direction of the radio beams emitted from its magnetic poles also rotates much like a lighthouse beam sweeping across the horizon. When this beam aligns with Earth, radio telescopes detect a pulse. Each time the neutron star completes a rotation, our telescopes pick up these pulses at regular intervals. This regular pulsing is what gives pulsars their name. Since most neutron stars rotate over 100 times per second, the radio signals from pulsars reach Earth at least 100 times per second creating intervals of just milliseconds. It would never take 22 minutes. Now, let us consider if a neutron star were to rotate once every 22 minutes. Such a slowly rotating neutron star would have a much weaker magnetic field and it would not produce significant radio waves. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that this 22-minute radio signal is coming from a pulsar. Another natural candidate capable of producing radio pulses is a white dwarf. When the core of a star with a mass similar to the sun or less exhausts its fuel, it shrinks into a white dwarf. Unlike neutron stars, white dwarfs are not as compact. They are about the size of Earth. As a result, their rotation speed is relatively low. It is possible that a radio signal from a white dwarf could flash in intervals similar to 22 minutes. However, since white dwarfs are larger, they would be visible through regular telescopes. Additionally, the strength of the radio signals emitted by white dwarfs is generally quite low. The 22-minute signal we are studying is far stronger, making it unlikely that a white dwarf is the source. Another potential candidate for such radio pulses is a magneta, which is also a type of neutron star. In a way, magnetas and pulses are like siblings. However, magnetas have magnetic fields up to a thousand times stronger than those of pulses. This intense magnetic field is not solely due to their rotation speed. Unique internal processes contribute to their strength. Therefore, even if a magneta rotates relatively slowly, it can still emit powerful magnetic fields and associated radio signals. Now, if we consider the possibility that the source of this 22-minute signal is a magneta rotating once every 22 minutes, we encounter a problem. We have never observed a magneta with such a slow rotation. Furthermore, magnetas usually emit powerful bursts of X-ray radiation, which is not the case with this signal. Only a faint level of X-ray light has been detected from this source, making it less likely to be a typical magneta. However, 
the X-ray light from this source does show some similarities to that of a magneto. This has led the scientific community to tentatively conclude that the 22-minute signal could be coming from an unusually slow-rotating magneto. More evidence is needed to fully support this theory. Perhaps this signal is caused by a new type of object that we have never seen before. Or, as some suspects, it could even be an artificial source. However, the true origin of this unknown radio signal, which has been directed toward Earth for the past 35 years, is still under investigation. We are also checking to see if we have missed other signals like this one. A significant challenge with detecting such signals is that they can easily be overlooked. This is due to the types of telescopes we use. The first type are long exposure telescopes that focus on a single direction for extended periods, capturing as much light as possible. For these telescopes, a recurring signal like this might not appear distinct. Instead, when the telescope is aimed in the right direction, multiple pulses can merge and appear as a single signal. The second type are survey telescopes which continuously sweep across the sky. If this type of telescope happens to scan the area between signal intervals, it might miss the signal altogether. Capturing such transient signals requires a telescope to focus on the same region of the sky continuously, recording images in intervals of 5 to 10 minutes. Telescopes with this capability are relatively rare, which explains why a repeating signal like this has gone unnoticed for so long. However, with ongoing investigations and advanced technology, we may not be far from uncovering the true nature of this signal. If you enjoyed this video, please like and comment. Your support motivates me to create more content. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with new uploads. Thank you.